for today's show, we're looking for chinch bugs. Now, why? Because I see brown dead areas, but I also see copper bronzing coloration, a copper brown if you look. That indicates the probability of chinch bug. The chinch bug is a small little gray or dark, almost black insect. He will always have a white band on the crest of his shoulder. He's going to be a little bit smaller than a ladybug. He does have wings, so he's capable of flying to and from people's lawns. To find out if you got chinch bugs, always don't, don't go into the crummy area. Go to the threshold of good grass, dead grass. That's where the chinch bugs will feed and lay eggs. You need to treat with a granular or liquid pesticide. Water thoroughly if you're using granular to activate the pesticide. You also need to retreat 10 to 14 days. Now, if you've identified chinch bug, one application's not gonna cut it because the pesticide will not affect the egg. So in 10 to 14 days, when eggs hatch out, you've got chinch bug problems again, and we don't want that to happen. We wanna fix a problem. Best rule of thumb, chinch bugs, minimum two applications, primarily the third one, definitely. You could have a heavy infestation. You may need three applications. Go to the threshold right here of your dead area and your nice green lush grass. Now, look for yellowing. If you see yellowing, that's indicating there is either number one disease or number two, a good sign of chinch bug activity as he's damaging the, the plant or the leaf blades, the grass plant, injecting a toxin, extracting nutrient, there will be yellowing, then browning, then total death. But get on this threshold, pull the grass back, lay your hands flat, be patient, count to 50, just hang out a little bit. I guarantee you, he's gonna come crawling out on your fingers and you're gonna go, aha, gotcha. Well, I'll tell you what, you need to get a treatment underway quickly. Read and follow all label directions. Keep children and pets off treated areas uh, at least for, uh, let's say, 24, 48, upwards of 72 hours. If you're around a hardscaper, a, a hot, area like a driveway and you see browning like this nine out of ten times it's going to be lack of water chinch bugs going to get in there you see big brown dead areas in the middle of the lawn that you know is getting plenty of water and the grass is doing just fine but now you're seeing dead areas look for disease problems uh, go to the cooperative extension agent in your part of the country that you live in or the nation you live in try to get some information match some pictures up to what's going on in your lawn and get it fixed quickly. Don't let it go. The key thing is catch a problem when it's beginning. Don't wait for it to get away. You come home from work, you glance over weekend, your barbecue, and you see a bad spot, go back and check it before it's a huge dead spot that's going to cost you a lot of money in replacing sod or fixing irrigation. Get it fixed quickly. Now, you're going to notice another thing. A lot of people will say, well, I don't need to sod this area that's been damaged. Uh, the grass will grow back in. Well, what's going on here? The grass, before it grows back in, which it will, mind you, look at the weeds. They love this environment. Weed seeds fall in there. The bugs are gone. The grass is dead, so there's nothing to hold back weed growth you got a wide open area for weeds to take over. You get a dead area like this from disease or insect, go to the good grass, the threshold, the area where the good and the dead has met, cut out all the dead, get you some sod. Wherever you have a bare dead area or bare soil area, you're gonna have weeds taking over.